Change is happening in the Eternal City. This is suburb and Rome, and street artists from all over the world are coming here to spruce up the area. Jericho, one of the Italian capital's rising street art stars, says he was keen to brighten up the walls of the neighborhood and choose to paint a mural inspired by Michelangelo's frescoes at the Sistine Chapel. Here, I wanted to create something more calming for people than my previous works. Therefore, I chose a remake of the famous artwork by Michelangelo, but with a more natural interpretation. Artists like Jericho have been commissioned by the local government to create an alternative alfresco art tour for some of Rome's poorest neighborhoods, like Tormarensia. Now, both tourists and locals are seeing Tormarensia in a new light. A lot of people are coming to visit the district. They like it. They're enthusiastic about the art. They're impressed. This has never happened in the past. Nobody would come to visit. Now the neighborhood is being revived. Despite a history of graffiti art and mural painting that dates back to ancient Rome, modern Rome is a relative latecomer to street art compared to other European capitals like Berlin, London, or Paris. Unless specifically commissioned, graffiti in public spaces is still illegal in Italy, with artists caught breaking the law risking severe punishment. But according to Jessica Stewart, an art historian and author of Street Art Stories Rome, this new wave of street artists is changing the city's point of view. There's a lot of ancient graffiti and writing all around the city, and in the Renaissance period, all the palazzi were painted outside and frescoed, and we've sort of forgotten that. So, on the one hand, I think there's very, you know, strong, strong connection,、um, and I think Rome is just catching up now、um, to that. In San Basilio, another Rome neighborhood that got a facelift last summer, more tourists are coming to discover the area and its public art.